let's walk through how to create a quick invoice together on the Tradeify mobile app. Quick invoices are useful if you haven't created a quote and are yet to track any costs against a job. Perhaps your customer verbally accepted the quote so you completed the work and want to send them an invoice. By invoicing on the go from the Tradeify app, you'll reduce your admin time, get paid faster, and ultimately improve your cash flow. There are two different ways to create a basic invoice. Let's start by looking at the first option, which is to create the invoice from an existing job in Tradeify. On your app, head to the Jobs tab and search for the job you'd like to invoice. Once found, tap into the job. In the top job menu, scroll across to Invoices and then tap New Invoice. If you've already allocated time or costs in the job, you can create a time and materials invoice. Otherwise, choose miscellaneous invoice. This will allow you to add in your line items manually. To add costs to your invoice, click the big blue Add Line Item button, then select Miscellaneous for non-listed items. From here, input your description, quantity, unit price, and any discounts, and finally, if tax is included. Select add another if you have more line items to add to your invoice or done to return to the invoice. Now, if this is the first invoice you've created in Tradeify, you may need to double check some settings. Scroll down to find more options, such as tax, to change your invoice's tax setup, or terms and payment information if you need to save your account details or any important invoice terms. Note, you can save time by setting up this information at an account level by creating unique document themes. Please check out our video on document themes for how to set this up for your account. Click on the preview item at the top to check out your draft invoice. Then click the back arrow to return to your invoice to make any adjustments. When you're happy with your invoice, click the green Approve button at the top of your screen. If you're ready to email your invoice to your customer, click Yes to email your invoice now. Make any changes to the email address or message. Then hit the blue Send button. Your invoice has been sent. Now let's take a look at the second option, which is great if you haven't created a job. Head to the Sales tab in your Tradeify app, tap the New Invoice button, search for an existing customer, or tap Add to enter a new customer's details. A handy tip is that if you have the customer's details saved as a contact in your phone, then you can import this information into Tradeify by tapping the Choose from Contacts. If you don't have them saved as a contact, you can enter their details manually. For this example, I'm going to create a new contact. Once you've finished this, tap Save. When you reach the Invoice Type menu, select Miscellaneous Invoice. Again, tap the blue Add Line Item button and select Miscellaneous to add your invoice items. Input a description and unit price. Then select Done or Add Another if you have more to add to your invoice. Click on the preview icon at the top to check out your draft invoice. Then click on the back arrow to return to your invoice if you need to make any adjustments. When you're happy with your invoice, hit the green Approve button at the top of your screen. If you're ready to email your invoice to your customer, click Yes to email your invoice now. Make any changes to the email address or message, then hit the blue Send button to send your invoice. And you're done! That's all there is to it, two easy ways to create basic invoices on Tradeify's mobile app. Save time by invoicing on the go and get paid faster. If you have any questions, visit our Help Centre, give us a shout or check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you soon.